This morning, we are going to uh, take a few moments to study God's Word on laboring in birth. Laboring in birth, really talking about travailing intercessory prayers. Prayer and intercession or travailing prayer is often used in the context of birthing things. It is used in the context of birthing, of giving birth to things. So we could say very safely that we, God's people, are the womb of, God, of heaven on earth. We, the church, are the womb of heaven on earth. So when God wants to release things on earth, He uses you and me. And one of the ways He does it is through this labor in birth, this travailing intercessory prayer, which we want to understand and break down so that we can all participate in this and, and know how to engage uh, and therefore give birth to the purposes of God. So through this process of birthing, of travailing intercessory prayer, this travailing intercessory prayer is connected to this process of spiritual birth. Laboring in birth, that travailing intercessory prayer is not easy, it's groanings. But there's joy on the other side because something has been birthed on the earth. What I want to place before us, and again, there are references for all of these, but as believers, we must engage in travailing intercessory prayer for many things. To see souls birthed into God's kingdom. If you want to see people come into God's kingdom, this is one way. Paul said, I labor, he wrote to Galatians, I labor in birth again. That means the first time he labored in order to bring them into the kingdom of God. So in order to see souls saved, somebody has to become the womb of God on the earth. We have to labor in prevail intercessory prayer to see believers mature in Christ's likeness. That means you want to see people grow and mature and see Christ formed in them. Somebody has to labor, travail in prayer. So, of course, we are speaking metaphorically, right? God, the Bible is using this whole thing metaphorically as a picture to convey spiritual truth to us, using the natural to teach us about the spiritual. So, how does this happen? Let's break this down. First of all, conception has to happen. That is, the seed of the Word of God must be impregnated into the womb of your heart. That's where conception happens. The Word of God must get into your heart. But then when you've gone through that process, you have actually released something that heaven wanted released here on earth. So, we the church, we God's people must come into this process. We must go into labor pains because you and I are the womb of God on the earth. So when you read the Bible, you read the promises of God, God said, I will do this for you. I will bless you. I will multiply you. But somebody has to pray. So in Genesis 32, Jacob is about to have a big transition in his life. See, this is a key for many of us. As you are preparing for a transition in your life, make sure you take time to pray and give birth to the purpose of God for the next season in your life. You know, when we contend against the powers of darkness, this is Ephesians 6, verse 12 and 18. In verse 12, it's telling us that we are wrestling against the powers of darkness. But then in verse 18, it tells us part of our armor, part of our engagement with the enemy. He says, you pray always in the spirit. So how are you wrestling with powers of darkness? You're praying in the spirit. And somehow you and I engaging in prayer is going us going against those principalities and powers and rulers of darkness. And lastly, we engage in prayer. We deliver the completed work. Paul writes something very powerful in Colossians 1, 24 to 26. He says, I make up in my body what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ. What does he mean? Surely what Christ did on the cross is a completed work. We can't add to it. 
what Paul is telling us, and when you cross-reference 2 Corinthians 11 and also Galatians 4.19, which we just read, and you put it all together, you understand that what Paul is saying is, Christ has completed the work in his suffering, but I suffer in order to deliver that completed work to people. So that's, what, that's the gap you and I have to fill. 